Kyle West here with another weekend preview with head coach Rich Price, and we'll get to the weekend series against Oklahoma, but first of all, have to talk about that Wednesday victory against Kansas State, the emotions of winning on a walk-off home run by Zach LG, 8-7, to 11th inning. How do you try and carry that over into this Big 12 series coming up? Well, I was proud of the way we rebounded. You know, we're ahead 7-4 in the ninth with two outs and nobody on base and two strikes on the hitter, and next thing you know, K-State's tied the game 7-7, and we had chances in the bottom of the ninth to win with the bases loaded one out and didn't score. We had a bases loaded in the bottom of the tenth and didn't score. And, you know, our bullpen was fabulous as far as putting up zeros. And when LG hammered that ball to left center field, man, that might be the highlight of the season. That was a great feeling. That was a big moment. Also, some good news for Kansas baseball this week with Frank Duncan winning Big 12 Pitcher of the Week. How about his performance in Texas? 11 strikeouts, no walks. He's obviously not going to repeat that against Oklahoma, but you have to like the way he's pitching right now. Yeah, I really do. I mean, he's emerged as one of the top guys in our conference, and he's gotten better each of the four weeks that he's been out there in the last month. And he's become a legitimate Big 12 Friday night starter in our league, and it's been really fun to watch. He showed up throwing 80, 82 miles an hour. Now he's pitching at 90, 92, and he's commanding his slider, commanding his changeup and his breaking ball, and he's a legitimate four-pitch guy. Um, it, it's been absolutely awesome to, see how, to, to watch that young man develop and become a big-time pitcher. Looking ahead to Oklahoma, pretty good offensive lineup, but they're led by Eric Ross at the top. He's hitting 457 against the Big 12, leads the team, 14 stolen bases. Obviously, it's important to keep the leadoff guy off base in any normal circumstance, but how much more is it emphasized this weekend against the Sooners? Well, I think, you know, Oklahoma's a lot like Texas. If you can get the leadoff hitter out, you can go a long ways towards controlling their offense. Uh, they have plus speed. They like to use the hit and run. They like to use the drag bunt. So I think any time that you get the leadoff hitter out, it negates some of the offensive weapons that the opposing coach can can throw at you defensively. And that's one of the things that Frank just did a fabulous job was at Texas last Friday night. And you know Oklahoma's got an outstanding club. They open the season in the top 25. They're experienced. They're athletic. Uh, for a young man to be almost May 1st, be hitting over 400 in our league is really impressive. On the flip side of that, you're top of the order with Tucker Tharp, Kevin Coons. You switched that midseason. Tucker Tharp's leading your team in Big 12 hitting, hitting 298 this year against the conference. How pleased have you been with that transition and adjustment in the lineup? Yeah, I'm really thrilled for Tucker. I mean, he's, he's a young man that's a really good competitor. He's obviously really improved in the two years that he's been here. He went from being a reserve last year, and I don't think he got his first start until like game 40-something a year ago as a freshman. And I uh, put him at the top of the lineup. We actually opened the season with him batting third, and he got off to a really tough start. And I think it speaks volumes about his work ethic and his competitiveness that he's been able to overcome that one for 19 start that he had right before league. And, and to be hitting almost 300 in our conference, I think is a great tribute to, uh, to the young man. Now, the Oklahoma series begins a stretch of four straight weekends in the state of Kansas. The only road trip there is Manhattan against Kansas State. How nice is it to finally be at home? You get to see Hoagland Ballpark for a little bit of an extended time. Yeah, I know our players are really excited. It's been, it's been a tough stretch. I mean, we opened the season with six straight weeks on the road, and you know that was by design with 12 freshmen on our roster. We were trying to get our guys to be more competitive and to be tougher and to grow up faster, to be prepared to play in, in this great conference. And, and we knew if we could survive the first half of the season that the last month we would get to play almost exclusively at home with the exception of the three games set at Kansas State. And, you know, we obviously are much better at Hoagland Ballpark than we are on the road. I think that's typical of every young club. The crowd was great Wednesday night. It's it's our alumni weekend, so a lot of our ex-players will be back Friday and Saturday, and it's Floyd Temple Day on Sunday as we honor him. So it's an exciting weekend for our players. It's an exciting time for me now that I've been here 10 years to, to get a chance to see a lot of our ex-players come back and enjoy Lawrence and enjoy KU. Should be pretty exciting. And when you look at the Big 12 race, Kansas State, Texas Tech, you're right in the thick of things. You're one game ahead of them, trying to make it to Bricktown, one of the top eight spots. How big is this weekend, even though you're not playing one of those two teams against the Sooners? Well, I think what's interesting is we're all going to play each other down the stretch here now. And K-State's going to play Texas Tech. We've got K-State left. We've got Missouri left. Obviously, we got Oklahoma before that takes place. So everybody's in position to finish somewhere from fifth to ninth in the conference right now. And that's the great thing about the Big 12. When you play in a league as competitive as this, I mean, every single game you play is important, and we're just uh, excited about the opportunity to play two of those weekends at home. 
Well, it should be a fun weekend at Hogan Ballpark. As Skip mentioned, Sunday, Floyd Temple Day, that game starts at noon. And Friday and Saturday, as part of Alumni Weekend, 6 p.m. first pitches on that one. The Jayhawks taking on the Oklahoma Sooners. For Rich Price, this has been Kyle West with the Weekend Preview. 